Well, hello there everyone, and I think we're on about day 44, or number 44. Just got a couple of catch up, but I'll do that. I'll drop in a couple of, uh, of gems for you. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about what to share today, and today here in, um, in England, the United Kingdom, it's Remembrance Sunday. And that's always the Sunday closest to uh, November the 11th, the 11th of the 11th. It's our... Um, it's it's the equivalent of our Memorial Day. You switch them in America if you're an American listening. And um, so today is our Remembrance Sunday. This morning we watched um, the royal family turn out the Queen standing in the balcony watching the wreaths being laid at the Cenotaph Memorial in London. And I thought, what better subject to talk about as we pursue our breakthrough than remember remember. It was the way of life for the people of Israel. They remembered. Remember they they stacked up those stones in the middle of the river and you can imagine the families as they walked by pointing to their kids and their grandkids and saying those stones are to remind us of when God came through for us. And we here on Remembrance Sunday have our memorial stones as it were. They look like poppies. They are poppies of course. Uh, from the field of Flanders, I believe, was where the idea came from, to remember that 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month that uh, victory was declared and that day has been held in remembrance. I want to encourage every one of you, uh, if you don't do it already, uh, collect memorial stones. They might be mental pictures and images, or they might be something that you buy. For Sue and I, as we travelled our journey in America, we bought memorial stones. We bought a gift for our family on the day that we got our religious workers visa. And Sue and I bought gifts for each other on the day that we got our green cards. They were victory days for us. And so we marked them with memorials. And here's the key with, with memorials. They remind you of what God has done and they testify to what he will do again. Remember, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy and so memorial stones are important they might be big ones they might be little ones you might even want to mark some in this strange strange season but I do know that as you build a history with God of remembering and here's the thing about remember let me unpack the word for you just for a moment it means to reattach remember member my arm is a member of my body if I lose my arm, I am dismembered. So remembering is reattaching myself to a part of me, of my life, of my body. So when we remember, we reattach ourselves to what God has done. And because of that, we testify into the future that he will do it again. Remembrance Sunday here. And I know there are many, many people in, in various states of of concern or prayer or despair or disappointment. Uh, it doesn't matter what the subject is. There are so many of them around right now. But here is my encouragement. I want to encourage you, re reattach yourself to what God has done. And remember, put some memorial stones out there. Maybe this Christmas, you might buy a memorial stone. Maybe you're one of those families that puts pictures on the Christmas tree, whatever that is for you, I want to encourage you. Today is a great day to begin or to remind yourself of your history of remembering. Remember what God has done. And as you do, it will declare into the future what he will do again. I bless you in Jesus name. And I pray as I bless you for your breakthrough and for ours in the wonderful name of Jesus, the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, one day every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Remember, reattach yourself to the great things that God has done. I'll see you again tomorrow. Sleep well or have a great Sunday. Bye for now.